Welcome to the Cigar Hustlers Podcast, episode 285, where we bring you the latest news and insights from the world of premium cigars. In this episode, we dive into the big stories of the week. We'll also discuss the latest cigar releases, trends, and hot topics in the cigar world, and share our thoughts and opinions on everything cigar-related. The King, Mike Stefankiewicz, and Reverend BDP Mike Palmer are two dynamic individuals who co-host the Captivating Cigar Hustlers podcast. With their unique perspectives and vast knowledge of the cigar industry, they offer a truly engaging and insightful experience for cigar enthusiasts and novices alike. And me, I'm Phil, your cameraman. So grab your favorite smoke, sit back, and join us for another exciting episode of the Cigar Hustlers podcast. Oh. All right, nice. Yeah, that was nice. That was lovely. In front of a live studio audience. One, please. Like, like Seinfeld. Thank you. A rack Practical above. The same thing. We just... <laughs> what? I know, exact same thing. Uh, a rack above. Better overhead garage storage with a rack above. Why must we damage our homes just to have overhead storage? A rack above has challenged the status quo by developing a superior overhead storage system that will not harm your home or damage your house or trusses. Comes with a 48 inch shelf that spans the width of your garage, keeping items within arm's reach, allowing you to ditch the ladder. A rack above will fit any size of garage. Suspended telescopic legs go up and down stairs, around hot water heaters, between electrical boxes, and car, car, car! Over cars! A rack above is the last ta, 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 ta. storage system you'll ever Hi-ho, need. Silver. A rack above is easily disassembled and reassembled in any garage. No matter where life takes you, a rack above can go with you. Call for pricing. 407-474-1214 or visit arackabove.com where you can now purchase through the website. Wow. Uh, so I would imagine pricing's on there too. How Are we going to call that person for that thing or no? What it, Let's like, do it. We didn't set it up. You, I'm sure you could just ring, ring. You think so? Yeah. What? It, okay. What is the person going to... What happens if they're... What are they going to uh, tell us? Uh, I now yeah. clicked and I bought one. Well, no, 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 because there's the deal if you call in. What's the deal if you call in? It's not a deal if you call in. If you just order it online and you say, hey, you did it. Right. He sees oh, it they still get the same thing that they order online? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they have to order online. They can't call us and order. All right, well, but let's call her. But if she's sitting home waiting on us to finish the purchase. I don't, know, I don't know how you say her real name. I'm not I'm calling her Sweepy. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hello? It's a... Hello. Hello. Hello, Sweepy. Hello. Uh oh, this sounds like trouble. Did you fall yeah. down? Don't let you fell down. Is 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 now a good time to talk to you real quickly, or we are good. We're quickly. good to go. Quickly, okay. quickly. Yeah. All right. So, Sweepy, congratulations on uh, making your purchase. You're about, you know, you're making your purchase on a rack above. I heard it's going to be a Father's Day present this upcoming yes. weekend. I uh, already went online and. Took up the logo and put it on a piece of paper and stuck okay. it in a card. That is fantastic. Can we get the owner of a rack above to come to the house on Father's Day and shake his hand and go, Congratulations, yeah. sir? Yeah, we could, I could totally work. We that could out. totally do yeah. that. We, he's not even a dad, so he's got downtime. All right. Yeah. Not like he's busy. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. I don't, we he, should set that up. I don't think he owns any cats. Um, he's not even a cat dad. Not even a cat. A dog. Even, a dog. Definitely a doesn't squirrel. have a dog. A dog. He has yeah. motorcycles. He has a motorcycle. He can show up well, in the A rack above Forerunner. So, because you're going to make this purchase, we are going to hook you up with some awesome cigars as well. Nice. So, I don't know that you don't have to include that in the Father's Day present. No, either. those can be for you. Yeah, they can yeah. be for you. Yeah, we're not going to show that part. Yeah. Okay. That's hopefully fantastic. he doesn't listen. Yeah. <laughs> well, hey, where are my cigars? Well, Sweet Pea, we just wanted to reach out. I know that we've been threatening to do this for about three weeks, so I'm um, glad that we found <laughs> the time. Of, a lot of scheduling problems. Made it work out. Just wanted to say thank you so much for supporting Iraq Above and supporting the show as always. And we truly appreciate you, and uh, we're going to give you some goodies to show our appreciation. Well, I look forward to it because right now my garage is very, very messy. Excellent. So oh, it's going to be all straightened out. It's going to be a big different change, and then I don't have to run all the way up to the top to the attic to get stuff down. Right. That's it. it will be a little closer. Exactly. Make sure way. you take a picture before and after and send it to us, and we'll we'll put it on the show. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> we'll do. All right, all darling. Right, nice. Thank, Thank you, you again. So we much. love you. Okay. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye, honey. Bye. Sweet pea. Sweet pea buying a rack above. Uh, nice. People better hurry. He's going to get sold you out. You should probably get yourself a rack above. Just saying. Pronto. Now. Pronto. Yeah, now. Mm-hmm. So. 
So, thank you for listening. This has been episode 285. <laughs> well, we got a couple things to address. First of all, uh oh, oh, we have a. Oh, uh, it's just I. I oh. was on. You were. Uh, I was oh, on. Oh yeah, by the time I was on. How about that cigar last, last night? night. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. I mean, we record before. Right. So but I was they, on. They and record I, tonight. And I'm gonna tell you right now. I said some shit. Oh, all the shit you said. I addressed some things. Full of surprises. I addressed some things. So I highly recommend oh, if you didn't listen last night, you go back and you listen to How About That Cigar. Well, was it being released today or was it released last night? They do it live. They go live Monday nights. Oh. But then you can hear it afterwards. Though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. On all the yeah. major uh, platforms, and I believe it's on YouTube. Yeah, you can just skip over the sports jargon that they talk about at first. Yeah, the first 15, this 20 minutes is a sports show. Yeah. Are you going to talk a minute? Do you know anything and about Minnesota just, sports? And just ignore their sponsors because they're all shit anyways. I mean, you know, they're not important is what I'm saying. Right. Well, it's that <laughs> one, and then there's the other yeah. one, and the one we're still waiting on pricing from. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. Mm. It's, crazy. Mm. it's crazy. So we have a box. Yes. Who is oh. this from? You took the tag off. So, no, it's on this side. Oh, it looks like it it's tore from off the top. Aaron Loomis. Oh. Ooh. Aaron Fishstick Loomis. Oh. Developing palettes. And I'm sure the uh, cigar surgeon as well, John McTavish. I'm sure John McTavish was the silent person making sure that this went down. Please. Phil, I believe Phil got fucked, though. Oh, did he? Yeah. Please be. Uh, of course. They did that last time, too. Yeah. Oh, even the colors. Yeah. So no, this, no, we haven't got anything from these guys before. Yeah. So we have two colors. You were you're the blue one. I was the blue one. Yes. Look at this. Ah, oh, nice. Camera three. He's not gonna turn. Uh, he's gonna turn the camera. How many right. shirts are there? <laughs> camera three. <laughs> how many shirts? There's two shirts. There's two I just on. I just stopped recording. <laughs> come on, come on. <laughs> we wear those next week. Ah, uh, look at that. Nice. We are collecting yeah. media T-shirts at this point. Unbelievable. Oh, you went black because everything with you was black. Yes. You know, I was really going for the fish stick, man. Uh, so, oh, Mr. Nice. Aaron Fishstick Loomis, thank you very much. We appreciate that. It took uh, a little over two years. We're the only show that wears other shows clothes yeah. on our show. <laughs> yeah. Free advertisement. That's right. Well, when you're number one, <laughs> you know, you're spreading you around know, the love a little. Yeah, you got you to gotta show the support. You got to support the boys, you know? We could do movie magic and just change real quick. <laughs> Click. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, and and this show brought to you, brought to you by... Um, Developing Palettes. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. What? No, he's oh, doing the oh, thing. Oh, you doing John McTavish. Yeah, he's doing oh, the thing. Oh. Yeah. We haven't used that in a while. Yeah, where yeah. is that? Where is that? That should have came on when he opened the box. There it is. Like, oh, no. Like, oh, no. He should be wearing a shirt that says, oh, no, to the PCA. Well, did you see what I purchased the ad space behind John McTavish? Right. And there's a war bear, and he's saying, oh, Oh, is the war bear saying, yeah, oh, no? Yeah, oh, I didn't yeah. notice yeah. that. Yeah. So, I took care of that. Uh, well... So there's a little bit of controversy going on in the cigar industry. You know, I yeah, was completely the, oblivious until somebody brought it up to me. Yeah. And now I know everything. There's a whole thing. Controversy. Yeah, there's a lot going yeah, on. Two t shirts, not three. It's I, crazy. Two t shirts, not three. <laughs> I believe. There are three people on the show, not two. Hey, you know, it's tough. It's uh, They're running a tough budget. So, you know, mm. they had as, to make As you already know, media mm. doesn't pay well. Yeah. Right, yeah you know yeah, what I mean? Right, right. I see why. I mean, look, we had to make your mask this month. We couldn't even afford to buy one. Yeah, it's it's tough. Mm. We, so we can find developing palettes on his this <laughs> I'll put that on there with Sharpie for you yeah, for that. I can, I can right. put a vinyl on there. Oh, right? I try yeah. to put a vinyl on there. Oh. So, Perfect. So there's there's a thing going around called Paintgate. Paint yes. Gate. Yeah. Paintgate. Paintgate. Now, was it started by Pravada, or did they just grab a hold of it? Uh, I don't know. I don't I don't know where it began. I don't know the origins. You know, and I'm going to tell you right now, we'll address the full story yes my entire opinion your breakdown right. and phil's as well well phil's not on the Patreon. our boots is as boots. well we'll let boots come in then oh this is going on the patreon we're gonna put it on the patreon oh yeah. nice all the all of course, the of course, course we're gonna if we're gonna yes, if we're we gonna, have, if we're we gonna have props really talk shit evidence and all sorts of stuff yeah we're gonna need some support so our patreon mm -hmm. listeners will get the full details but and i'm gonna tell you this if you're not a patreon listener yet you should jump to Patreon.com and the Cigar Hustlers podcast. Fifteen dollars, you get the video. Yeah, we would have over fifteen. You know, we would appreciate the support. We are very grateful for those that have supported us in the past and continue to support us. And we hope that more of you join and care what we have to say. And with all the new cigars releasing at some point. Oh yeah, we review cigars. We review cigars. Yeah. You give yeah. discounts on. Cigars. Yeah, we do yes. give discounts. We do give discounts. So, I'm going to tell you this. One of the things that really upset. 
Brian at Pravado. Yes. Was that he felt that everybody had gotten this Room 101 Daruma cigar. Right. And he was kind of shut out from it. Oh, because he didn't get them. Right. Right. Well, he doesn't normally get that kind of no, stuff. No, he does. He? he totally does. Oh, does he? Yeah. You oh. know. Uh, I thought he just a, peddled his stuff. No, he's got a website and he promotes everybody else's stuff. And, and I'm sure that does he, he carry our stuff. He does. Oh, I didn't he know does. That. Yeah. Nice. So. Thank you, Brian. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Brian. So, you know, I feel like there's a little miscommunication there because I could tell you that I didn't get my Daruma stuff either. No, oh, yeah, uh -oh. we don't have any. You know, and I definitely ordered some. So, but I do, you know, is there, if you want to talk about, is there favoritism? Right. In, well, isn't in, there, in the realm of the cigar industry? Isn't there that with every big company? Yeah, yes. it, it's, it's a thing. It's, it's a, a thing, thing man. It's a thing. You know, yeah, it happens. And, and I can't argue against that. If somebody has been supporting Room 101 since the dawn of time, right. I would understand that they got their shit. Oh, really good friends with Matt Booth, or yeah. used to be, I guess. Yeah. Oh. So, you know, I get, I understand that. Right. You know. Right. So, if there wasn't Do you had enough, your favorites as well that you ship first? Ooh. No. You sure? I mean, you know what? I actually look at things from a logical standpoint. They're in alphabetical order. Fucking crazy. Alphabetical? So yeah. what I try my best to do is address the people on the West Coast first. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because so, the shipping is longer. Yeah, because right. it takes them longer to get the product. Right. So like Casper Cigars, Small Batch, those dudes. Right. They're all the way out there. Right. You know, uh, three in one. Got to give Ricky a shout out. So, I'm you not know, familiar with three in one. Rick Rodriguez. Oh, Rick Rodriguez. Not Louis Rodriguez. Ricky and Tambo Ricky? No, totally different Ricky. Totally different Ricky. Totally different Ricky. Ricky, no. Sorry. So, I mean, those are guys are all good dudes. And, and if they order the product, right? I make I do my best to make sure that they get That's it true. First. We do do that. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, but you just don't ask somebody they just ship to first. Yeah, I'm not like, "Hey, you're my dude." Right. I'm gonna, no, no. I right. I try to Spread it out. Spread I the love. Try to make it as equal as I possibly can. Right. I mean, it's, it's never going to be per the, it's uh, never going to be perfect. All about the equal. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Nice. You're, known for, a, you're known for that. I'm notorious. Name out of the hat. Notorious. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that'd be. We should do that. Notorious CGR. No, no. Uh, draw a name from a hat. Just start doing a Facebook Live of that. Throw a dart at the board. Facebook Live. There you go. Get a big Who map. Who get it first? Get a big map. Who gets it first? And wow. You closes. get a golden ticket, and you or whatever. Yeah. You get the Connecticut's. Oh, there so, you go. The golden oh, Connecticut. Oh, someone's phone's not me. No, it's not me. <laughs> it was Phil. Fucking Phil. Fucking Phil. I got this new every, watch and it freaking every, rings. Every, 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 it's the same watch you've always had. No, I got it yesterday. You got a silence. What, what happened to the old one? That I traded it in. There's oh. a silence option. Why did you trade it in? What, did it stop telling time? They say the new one can read your blood pressure. Oh, so oh, you want okay, to right. check your blood pressure? My, of course. How, how much was the new one? How much Ballpark. Was it? it was $150 more. It was like 4 bucks a month or something like that. For oh, so you pay monthly. For less than 150 yeah. bucks, my watch tells my blood pressure. So you tell monthly. You do monthly. Yes. Interesting. I got the two or something. Whatever one was the first one that was waterproof. Two. So that's that's what my wife I, has. That's two. what I got. So yeah. I bought this. It's called the Series Eight, and he's like, "That's the newest one." And then I looked last night. There's an ultimate. Yeah. <laughs> There's yeah. a newer I'm like, one. That guy fucking lied. Ah, they yeah. all lie. They're like car salesmen. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> ben from Luxury was showing me the ultimate. I'm like, that's pretty badass. Yeah, what, it's what's, huge. What's that yeah. one? Oh, really big? Yeah. Yeah, it's like oh. 49 millimeters or something. What's, what's yeah, it? What's it do that the the new one doesn't do? It tells time faster. Oh, oh. yeah. Before before it clicks. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's exciting. It's a, a, well, a I future, mean, future, future. You know, it's funny is sometimes this thing doesn't update for me. Like I try and look at the screen, see what's going on, and I'm like, yeah. son of a bitch, just fucking work. But I'm not. Well, the new one also. It works like, enough. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's right. like my it, shoes. It they work enough. Right. Yeah. You know how like on yours, you have to click like the little heart to see your heart rate. Yeah. Well, the new one is on your main screen now, yeah. and it and it tells you your heart rate like right now. Does it say, "Oh, uh, don't eat that"? It could. <laughs> you pick up fried chicken. It goes, "No, no, no." Burp, burp. You know, I've seen a lot of people lately have they have like the the needle plugged into the back of their arm so yeah. that they can wing their phone. Well, they can know their in, the, the yeah, blood 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 insulin blood levels thing, and yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. I don't know if I want it sticking in my arm. Yeah, I see it a lot. Yeah, I do see that thing a lot too. So, anyways, but paint. does it just measure or does it give you it, the medicine too? No, it measures. Just measures. Yeah. Oh. You think that you just like put it on the back of your watch? It'd be stuck in your wrist when you put the watch. Oh god, that's gotta be uncomfortable. Why? 
there's not a lot of fat here. Is it like, oh, I guess no, as you move. Yeah. Oh, okay. Maybe that's why they don't do it. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Maybe, a, maybe a microchip. Mm. Yeah, there you go. So mine's got these lights behind it. So what did you do this weekend? You hang out in your house and you cut your grass? Uh, Sunday we went to Swamp House. Ah, I saw I did see a picture. Yeah. Uh, Megan came over for the day. The girls sat outside for a little while, and then we, we went to Swamp House. Nice. That's our summer place. We usually go there on Sundays in the summertime. The new nice. uh, the new Oasis is open up soon. Is that the place in Sanford? At the marina, yeah. I think it is open now because they were going to go there, but I don't have good memories associated with that place. So it's completely redone. Yeah, she saw pictures of it <laughs> you online. You don't have good memories. I want to no, know. it was a bad no, place. No, no. I want to know. It was a bad place. It, what it had, place. like, rough crowds. Yeah? And, Did you get the shit yeah. kicked out of you? Oh, yeah. Your uh, wheel? Well, no, no. Your wheel it's like 2002 wallet. spring break style. Yeah? Yeah. Were you raped there? No, no. Drunk people everywhere. You yeah. notice nobody gets out of the pool all day long. So everybody. Oh, there's peeing. a pool. Oh, there's a pool outside. It's an outside a lot bar of pool. Yeah, you're like, you know, nobody got out of the pool in the last six hours we were here. Yeah, well, there's a lot of beer consumed in that a pool. A lot too. of beer right, in that yeah. pool. I mean, the waitresses wait on you while you're in the pool. <laughs> I mean, they bring the tray and they bend over and hand you the beer. So they, they said and called it the pee pool. And the food, the food, you could. The foods, <laughs> not even bar food is a little less than bar food. Oh, well, two like guys Amber from Davis? Miami bought it. Yeah. Did they? Yeah, two guys. You had a friend that used to own it or something. No, no, I had a friend that DJs there. Oh, that's what it was. So two guys from Miami bought it. They put over a million dollars in the renovation. I've asked already. Yeah. There were they don't have a signed DJ yet. Oh. So so it was renovated like two years ago too. Yeah. So those people. So what ended up happening is those people never pulled permits and it caught up to them. Ah. So then they had to sell because the fines were like increasing. That guy banned us one year. Oh really? Because it was a drunk lady there with her kids. And we made a post on the thing because they just kept serving this lady shots and drinks and where her kids are frog clean in the shallow end. Yeah. And we made a post of something about it, and so they, they banned us. It's not like they would ever know who we were if right. we went back anyway. But You, right. sir, are not permitted back we, here. I went there one time at night when I used to ride my bike with uh, with another guy. You and snuck was, in? No, 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 this was before. This was before the first renovation. Yeah. I mean, it was like naked whores jumping in and out of the pool. Oh, naked whores. Okay. Bikers. Practically, you know, lighting things and throwing them up in the air, and then <laughs> it was really rough that night. So yeah, huh. so, so yeah, so I, I don't, I don't, I don't want to go there. Just you should retry it. It's there's better food now. Yeah, like, there's an actual chef there. Yeah, and now they have like uh, Miami style cabanas everywhere. And so people are peeing in the cabanas now. Phil is all about the nightlife, man. He's a well, this is daytime. No, it's daytime, bro. Phil's all about the daylight. This is man. this is a daytime thing. It's all about it's a great day drink. Yeah, he's place. like, come on, he gets drink a funny it. tan line from the mask though. Come on, right. I'm drinking. Right. Right. He's about that life. We were gonna, we were gonna make the day drinking thing a yearly thing. We talked about that a couple of weeks ago. Then we, we just sort of let it go. I'm in. Yeah. We, we did that one day drinking where his wife had to come save him. Right. And I got in trouble because he put chips all over the floor. Oh. And oh. I, I disappeared. Always me. It was you eating the chips. Yeah, I remember I think it was that. Much. <laughs> my wife couldn't find me, and I was passed out in he the does house. Weird shit like that. Right. He's got a cigar left out front of my house. I just found it a couple of days ago. <laughs> How you know it's me? He, because I saw you put it down. On your camera? No, I I opened the door. You put the cigar down on the ledge. Yeah, like, you hey, you leave man? cigars too a lot. No, I throw them in the mulch. Yeah, he's got an area. Yeah, I got a collection that I <laughs> throw out. Okay. If you walk up to the garage, it's to the left around the side. Was it a Postania exactly. cigar? Yes, it was. They're always Postania cigars. It could have been me. Oh, could have been me. It was 100% you. Okay, could have been me. Without hey, if it wasn't there for a cigar. <laughs> <laughs> so he does that. Like, and he'll leave glasses and shit. He does that here. Yeah. Leave glasses? Yeah. Yeah, he leaves shit around all the place. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's either you or that boots guy. We don't yeah, know which one I it think is. It might be. It's more, oh. it's more boots. It Phil's, might be boots. Phil's, Phil's, Phil's cleaner. Phil's a little more meticulous. Yeah, yeah mm-hmm. I think so. I think he is. Boots is in here yeah. to defend himself. Yeah. yeah. That's all right. So, okay, so you went out, you had a good time? Uh, yeah, yeah. I drank too much, but, you know. You drank too much? I had a lot of, a lot of acid reflux last night. Oh, boy. Mm. Yeah. You didn't take a pilot, Zach? No. Oh. I forgot. Yeah, I don't understand why people do that. Prilosex? If you know that the, the pill's going to work, why don't you just take the pill? Well, you run out of them, and then you don't think they'll go buy some more for a couple of I days. I have that oh. argument with Brittany, and I'll have her call in next week. She's like, oh, I got a headache. I'm like, did you take any Advil? No, I will. I'm like, the they fuck? love to suffer. I'm like, I don't understand what's going on here. Oh, my wife will do that. Yeah. I go, well, it's in the bathroom. She goes, it's so far, my head hurts. So I got to get up and get it. <laughs> And then there was only one yesterday. So uh, I was like, there's only one. It's got a little bit of relief. Right. Nothing, nothing over the top. You want the one? Well, I, uh, what I did went. You do. I went to Brian McKnight. 
I uh, Boots invited oh, yes. me out yes. for the concert. Yes, yes. Um, I'm sorry that you weren't there. That's all right. But you know, hey, maybe next time you come. Maybe next time you're included. Maybe. Who knows? Yeah. Yes. We'll see. We'll see where you where you stand on that. But it was cool. If my ranking goes up or not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Right, right, right. Uh, you know, I ran into my my primary doctor along the way, which was nice. Chris Baldwin? No, no. Oh, my legitimate. Oh, your real doctor, yeah, yeah. Oh. Doctor Jean. I didn't even yeah. know you had a real doctor. I thought yeah. Chris Baldwin was the real doctor. <laughs> I doctor. No, he's my guy that I like to dispute things with. It's fun. Oh, like, no, 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 no. Oh, you're fucking full of shit. You don't know what do you what do you know? What do you know? That's not right. Yeah. I looked it up online. I googled it. I googled it. What MD dot com? Yeah. Yeah. Web MD. Web MD says, says you are wrong. <laughs> I have cancer again. <laughs> so no, but he's a cool guy. You know. Um, was he at we, the concert? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. We have a good we have a good relationship. So you know, I, he was with his wife, and they were like holding arm in arm, and I went right up to him and I locked him in. Oh, and I was like, "What's up? What are you doing?" He's like, and he's like, he said, "I'm a honey, son of the patient." He said, "I'm going to charge you for this visit." I said, "Well, then I'm pulling my pants down." <laughs> oh, yeah, on this, this bridge in City Walk. Yeah, nice. he's like, "I'll, I'll do it. Don't, don't." Right, you know, I'll, I'll, fine, I'll check you. We'll do a prostate check right God knows, here. God knows, not the first time. Honey, give me the lube out of your purse. Yeah. So I saw him. He's a good guy. Uh, the show, the guy is pretty good. Yeah. For 54 I years old. I don't know him by name, but I saw yeah. some of the videos and I recognize the song. Yeah, he's got a couple of songs that are that are pretty good hits. And then he busted out um, his Whitney new, Houston. Whitney Houston. Yeah. Oh, I have nothing if I don't have you. Oh, he, I mean he's, he's saying it pretty good. Yeah, he skipped good. one one part. He like he stepped away from the mic, which was a good fucking move. There's no way he nails it. Oh, I he's mean, not hitting guy, that note. Yeah, the guy yeah. can hit. Guy can sing. Right. But I mean, Whitney Houston was right. special. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. So it was all the crack. Well, hey, you know, I, I don't look. Just show me the baby. I don't know. I don't care how we get <laughs> right, there. Right. I don't care how we get there. Just show me the fucking baby. And right. she that did. Was, I mean, she was amazing. So uh, and he did a great job of it, a great little rendition of it. Uh, but the takes some balls to uh, do on her. Songs. I know. Yeah. When I go, I mean, I said, is he fucking about to sing this song? <laughs> is he going to? Is this, is this happening? Does he know about the note at the end? You know, and he did a pretty good job. Oh, we have the fog rolling in now from London uh, coming across uh, the camera. No, it's Canada. Oh, it's Canada. Yeah, it's oh, Canada. Canada. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I saw that. It's yeah. terrible up in New York. Yeah. yeah now they're all going to move here. No, they're uh, not. Yogurt Lights <laughs> uh, down to like no. two weeks or something. We like have, no, no, we have meth and, and alligators. You know, oh, we have something don't, new. To, we have a new Florida story. They can do something that. new at the beach. Ooh, did we give, oh, did we give the alligator meth? No, no, no. no there's something new at the beach you got to watch out for. The bear swimming. Yeah. yeah so. If you think for one second alligators and meth is going to scare off New Yorkers, <laughs> I think it will. Do you know that the, uh, what was it? The, um, um, crap. They're good. Never mind. Some Scandinavian country used to give crack to their soldiers. Really? Pharmaceutical you, grade makes them crack. crazy. Was it crack Fuck or was yeah. it methamphetamine? Meth. It was meth. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, meth. Meth. Hell yeah. You ain't stopping a fucking squad right. of people on meth. That's no. not, I mean, they may shoot each other, but, you know. Fuck yeah. You could, uh, you could fucking cut off their arm. They're still coming. It's well, a red soldier. Well, one guy, they yeah. gave it to one guy. The story was that they gave it to this one guy to carry because he, he didn't want to take yeah. it. But he got lost, so he, he went to take it, but all the pills were stuck together because they froze. So he just took all of them. Oh, shit. And then he lost like three weeks worth of time. But in that three weeks, he stepped on a landmine, blew off a foot. Uh, a door blew up in a cabin and threw him back. He laid there for a couple of days, thought he was going to die, and then he just got up and hobbled back over. Wow. I mean, Superman. Basically, yeah. 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 This guy, this guy was skiing around on one foot in the snow. That's why it's best like to shoot weeks. meth heads in the head. You know, that's why we call them meth heads. Yeah. You got to take them out like zombies. You know what I mean? Right. He yeah. thought he attacked a uh, wolverine and turned out to be a log. <laughs> he tried to stab it with his compass and broke his campus or his compass, so then he couldn't find his way back. Oh, man. Jeez. Meth. Right. The, hell the problems they used to have. Right, they yeah. saw they saw him take it, so like, oh, quick, take all his bullets. So he's he's fighting, click click click, thinking he's shooting bad guys. Oh wait, they were watching him in this this adventure. <laughs> right, they were just bored. <laughs> they were just bored. Take the meth. Take, take the meth. Watch that. Look at him taking the all war is over. Keep going. <laughs> you must take you must take all the meth. Take all of it now. All right. Well, before we get to the news, do we have any fill fun facts or anything? Something not racist by any chance? For yeah. the love of God. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I meant to do. I got to do music for Phil's fun facts. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, I want the American Gladiator theme. It's in my head. Da, 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 da. Oh, we're at least something close to it. So Is we that what get, we're doing? So we don't get sued. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll find something close. Yeah. Hello, peoples. Peoples. All right. So this one is titled, Smoking Cigars Might Be Healthier Than Smoking Cigarettes. Oh, that's obvious. Yeah, everybody knows that. 
While cigar smoking certainly isn't part of any health program, the American Cancer Society states that cigars have much fewer toxins than cigarettes. Yeah, no shit. Just meaning the tobacco. that cigar smokers might enjoy their nicotine fixes without worrying about lung cancer. Huh. I'm not reading the second part. Is it racist? Uh, no. Oh. Did, did, I, no, I did. Didn't I, did, I, did, I didn't do this one. No, no I didn't do this. Balance yeah. is the key, people. That's yeah. I'm just going to leave the last part. Balance is the key. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do too many of them. Well, I, I was reading, like, over the weekend, like, because I always, like, research things about yeah me dying or something. Um, <laughs> oh, you went down that rabbit hole. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Wow. He's on WebMD, too. Okay. So uh, they say, I like, mean, I oh, can set up you, an appointment with Dr. Jean. If you, if you yeah, call him right now. Yeah. <laughs> Meet him on the bridge. He'll, uh, yeah, give you a little. <laughs> um, yeah, that's how he finds out if you've smoked too many cigars. Right. Yeah. Everybody knows it makes your prostate swell. Now, they say if you only smoke, like, one to three a day, you're fine. But if you smoke more than three a day. Yeah. Does it have to be like several days in a row? Because like Saturday, I, 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 had, say that, Saturday I had four, but Sunday I'm going to tell you one. right now you're it full of shit, but go ahead. They say it increases your chances by 2%. Okay. Eh. I'll take, the, I like those. Uh, yeah, I'll yeah, take, I was like, you know, I'll, I'll 2%? Who did this research, Yeah, yeah well, so, <laughs> yeah, so like, so. We'll, you're just slightly. I'm kind of curious. Is, I'd like to see the, the scientific data, like the page of the research that okay. they actually took. That actually shows where they tracked people Somebody that consume smoking. more than three a day, and what actually triggered the belief of some of either heart condition or whatever. You know, I think it was um, lung cancer. So, so whatever. how do you track that? How do you track in a yeah. research platform? Oh, here's there's a pop. Oh, we. I mean, did you scan them for a tumor? Like, well, what the other is, thing is, is like, how do you know about like what's their family history? Or, yeah, right. Too a lot of factors. Know, like, yeah, maybe yeah. it works than an asbestos factor. I mean, from a from a logical standpoint, if you have even if you have unhealthy blood, and, but you exercise on a regular basis, you still have a better chance of living than a person that has really good blood and doesn't exercise. Right. Right. What right. So, to, what are you trying to say? I'm slated to outlive both of you. Probably. Well, actually, uh, Boots works out, but Phil doesn't. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. So there's that. But genetically, I'm a fucking mess. So. Oh, well, there yeah, you go then. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but, yeah but they say everything skips a generation. Well, it didn't skip that, this not generation. That's not true. Yeah, no. My grandmother lost her mind. Dad lost his. Now mom's losing hers, so I'm pretty much on the way. I'm doing these you games. You got to start doing the red light therapy, man. Oh, yeah. I'm doing these games on my phone at night, a brain things yeah trying to keep sharp. honestly dude you should go like look into this red light therapy shit yeah you mentioned i meant to look that up it's it's not that expensive it's maybe a couple hundred bucks for a decent one and i'm gonna tell you if you do it it relaxes you and it'll put you to sleep you know they do say huh. too though yeah. that it'll people help you with sleep. uh people with high anxiety yeah normally don't have a lot of health issues later on in life oh great <laughs> why because well, that's great you have high anxiety I know, but I would rather not have that. Does he have? You have high anxiety. <laughs> I would imagine what? So. I don't think you really have high anxiety. <laughs> yeah, he does. He fo well. People with high anxiety can focus super well on something. Yeah. People with high anxiety do a lot of different things oh, at I, one time. I have uh, what's that new disease I found out I had from the guy on the TV show? ADHD. So. Yeah, I have ADHD. Do you? I have all the symptoms. Mm. I don't super believe. focused. Well, everybody had all the symptoms and... of COVID too, but I don't. I, don't know. I had, I I had don't that twice. That Two and a half times. I don't buy that for a second. Are you ready for the news? Yeah. From the four quarters of the world, all the cigar industry news you could possibly need. Here it comes. The Cigar Hustler Podcast Report with Mike Two. As we're getting closer to the PCA, more releases are being announced. Oh. This week's PCA announcements. Oh, all right. Black Star Line Cigars is releasing Rosewood, Rosewood 1923. Nice. Excited about that one. I like Eric. He's doing the other one, too. And he's doing two firefighter one. The, the, the firefighter one. smog smoke eater or some shit Something, like that. yeah, yeah. Yeah, that looks good, too. Black Star Line Cigars is turning to Fabrica Oleja ne Oveja Negra yeah, for its black, newest black line, black which honors the 100th anniversary of the Rosewood Massacre. Rosewood 1923 is a new line that will debut a 6x48 Corona. It uses a Mexican... 6x48? Yes. It uses a Mexican San Andreas wrapper over an Ecuadorian binder and fillers from the Dominican Republic. It's a little big for Corona. And Nicaragua. The MSRP is set at $12.99, and it's a regular production item that will be offered in boxes and bundles of 20 cigars. Mm. Uh, you know, so look, right? I think that that's fantastic. It's got... Eric's got story behind his product. Right. Yeah. He's a fucking go-getter. He works his ass off. Right. So, uh, you know, 
His feet are doing much better too. His his working on his bunions. Firefighter feet. <laughs> yeah. Firefighter feet's doing much better. So I'm excited. I think that this could be both of these be cigars could, could be, be his year. Let's not get crazy. Oh, it's not good. No, it's no. the year of Postani, Connecticut. Oh, without fucking question. There's a lot of Connecticut's coming out. Yeah, and well, I'm gonna tell you right now that none of them are gonna fucking taste like mine. I have a question. About not that. even close. I'm just the uh, you know novice. Yeah, yeah. the way you're looking you're just so, a Ninja Turtle. Yeah, lost so, in this world. Ninja so my question is, is, tell me, was there like an abundance of Connecticut tobacco where we, everybody was like, we actually had this chat a couple of weeks ago. There was uh, a lack of something else with the broadleaf. Yeah, so broadleaf is is missing. Is you know, there isn't a ton of it right now in market. Mm -hmm. So I think that realistic, you know, what really kind of happens is one that right, and two, you as you're kind of going about building a brand, you look for something that you're kind of missing. So if you're missing that mild to medium cigar, which a lot of a lot of brands do. Yeah, but they you go know, with that the bigger, heavier stuff first. Yeah, they they do your San Andreas, they right. do your broadleaf or something like that, or you know. So, so, I'm sorry. Go ahead. So, are the farms controlling the industry, or are the brands? Is the tail wagging the dog? Is that what you're saying? Mm. Mm, good question. Well, I th here's what's happening with the Connecticut broadleaf. A lot of that stuff is actually being sold to uh, marijuana companies and shit. Wow, like blunt wraps and stuff. They've moved around. Oh, I yeah, get you. that's been a problem for a while now. And, you oh. know, weed is m way more socially acceptable at this point than cigars. We're the, the black sheep of the industry. Right. Unless you're a successful celebrity or athlete who has just won the NBA finals because we'll see the cigars there. Right. Or, you know. Um, you can't buy these anywhere else, but they yeah. have them. You, no, I mean, you know, it's it's so funny because I do it every year. Whenever somebody wins a thing, I'm always staring at what are they smoking. You know, like, oh, oh, you know. Sometimes it's Padrones. If it was, if Miami wins, it'll be Padrones. Because they're in Miami. Fuck yeah, without question. They will be there. You know what I mean? Somebody in the Padrone family will make sure that they get set up with something dope, right? I know that when New England won, they were smoking Padrones. They had a beautiful uh, Patriot well, Padrone I think they have human. A, yeah, they have that cigar bar inside the stadium, don't they? I have no idea. In, in Foxborough? I thought they did. I didn't see that there. I could tell you that the one that really kind of fucked with me was the year of the bubble. 2020, when LeBron won, I'm sure that you didn't have access to a lot of shit. They were smoking underground shades. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I almost fell out my fucking that, chair. Yeah. I'm like, holy shit, what is going on? We couldn't smuggle something else into the bubble. This is what this is. This was the uh, epitome of championship that's caliber. Were, that's I mean, what they were selling at the Publix. The closest. I, public. I don't think that is. You couldn't get out. You, you weren't allowed to leave. You had to. There was the bubble. They sent the runner. He's they not, were leaving. He's remember? Not, no. Don't you remember the scandal? No, man. When somebody, somebody left, they had, got, yeah, somebody had some. If some, something. If somebody left, they got fucked, man. Does Disney sell cigars? On certain uh, uh, hotel properties, they do. Well, maybe that's what it was. Yeah, or at least they used to. I don't know. Maybe recently, maybe they don't. But yeah, after they the used bubble, to. after they showed the cigars on TV. Oh, <laughs> triggered. I've hurt my fucking feelings. There was a guy shut it down smoking a cigar on a boat at Swamphead, and the girls go, "What's that man smoking?" And I'm looking. There's no band or nothing. I can't tell that from here. It's probably just a house blend. You could have said whatever you want. Yeah, and I heard, oh, yeah, it's a blood yeah blood. that's where you fucking sell it. Probably Ooh. Cuban, just ask the guy. No, no, no he's just, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's Some Cuban. old dude on a very expensive boat. This is a Cuba. I have a friend that flies down to Cuba, and he brings me these. Probably. I had somebody out. say that to me you this know, weekend. Well, you know what fucking aggravates the shit out of me on Facebook? And I don't know why the fuck this is happening, but I've gotten a lot of friend requests of people peddling fucking Cuban cigars. That's going around. I'm like, holy shit. They're joining the groups and trying to sell them to. I gave it one or two a day. Somebody's oh reporting somebody's Oh, my fucking yes. God. It's and a lot so of, obnoxious. There's, there's one guy in the weasel group that every time seven people go in, he tells me five of them are fake and that they're trying to sell Cuban cigars. Really? He goes, it's all the same people. I'm like, how do you know? He goes, oh, I run a couple other groups. I always see them. Do you del just delete them? I was until like the fourth week in a row, and the guys were like, you know what? I'll just wait. See if he tries to sell Peddling his way. I've had a lot like on contact as well. So it's fucking obnoxious. I'm like, yeah. I get a lot of them on Instagram. And then some of these people have a lot yeah, of Instagram, the same yeah. mutual friends that I have. So right, but so I look sucking them in. But I look, yeah. 
and so I, they look they look legit. You know, and I'm like, okay, but as soon as you get the first scroll, the first photo is fucking some Cuban shit, and I'm right. like, fuck. A lot of them take the money and then Delete. don't send you cigars. Oh, scam artists. Yeah, they're just scams. They didn't even have them. I mean, you can you can hmm. get a picture online. But it sucks for me because I like working with retailers. So then, you know, I'm like, oh, maybe they're a retailer. Oh. No, they're not. They're some jerk off fucking. Wasn't there supposed to be some? Is that on Instagram? You're supposed to have like a verified thing or is that Twitter? Uh, I tried Twi- it. Twitter I, has it and they do on Instagram. Too. I tried to do the Instagram one. They said that my profile picture didn't match my driver's license, but they kept billing me anyways. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was going to say I tried it on Instagram, but they wanted money. I was like, ah, I don't want I don't care. Money. I'll give you the 15 bucks. I don't give a shit. That's fine. Give me that blue check. And, and then it looks nice. It. it looks lovely. Ah. But they said that my picture didn't match. And my picture's kind of old. But still. Well, you fucking... So I I disputed the charge. Give me my $45. <laughs> yeah. Like, why don't I have my blue check yet? Well, oh, it don't, don't match. Oh, but we're going to charge you. Yeah, but we're going to keep billing you. Keep billing you anyway God because you're like, close. Yeah. Oh, my audio came back. See, there's a short, <laughs> there's a, there's a short somewhere in the connection. <laughs> Click. Crownheads adds La Pessier. How do we tell you? Patis- La Pisser. La Pessier. Number two, PCA exclusive. Oh. Crownheads are releasing a new size of La Pisser, and the only way to La retailers Pissa. to get it is to place the order next month at the 2023 it's PCA uh, convention and trade show, unless they don't sell enough, and then you can buy it after. <laughs> I love how that works. Yes, that's usually how it goes. <laughs> you can only get it are you here. Interested you can only in get it here. Are you interested in the number two? Well, I wasn't in the show. Well, you know. Well, you know, if somebody asked, tell them you went. You know, it, Padron does it right. Padron does it right. Oh, yeah. He comes over. He goes, yeah, I'd like to buy the show special. He goes, okay. Then he walks away. And nobody ever comes back. Then he disappears. No, no. You, If you place <laughs> you the show. 20 minutes later with his bottle of rum going. If you place the show for the order for whatever their PCA cigar is. Right. Then they make that many. Right. Oh, I see what you're saying. Makes yeah, sense. Yeah. Right. Where the other, a lot hey. of the other people make it. Right. Oh, we didn't sell all of them. It, it, yeah, we're projecting 10,000 cigar right. sales. Oh, right. we only sold 5,000. I might as well open them up. I open it up, then. It'll be fine. I never like, heard anything again on that uh, Fuente yeah. Padron. Isn't that yeah, something? No, 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 How no. about that? Yeah. Let's. They fucking took the entire focal point of that show. Right. Of this Fuente Padron fucking docking thing right. where they got do, together. Do, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Do, 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 and, do. and then it just fucking fizzled. Biggest news story of the year. It was huge. And then nothing. And nothing. Nobody's got it. Nothing. Nobody ha- n- n- Did you guys order no, it? I said, who's releasing it? Well, we'll, f- we'll, f- well no- we, have, we have a standard set up at a tier group, and then this guy can get but, it. And then Well, the number one question was, do I buy it from Fuente or do I d- buy it from Padron? Yes. Right, yeah. And that's pretty much the answer <laughs> pretty that much you Pretty much the got. answer, right. <laughs> Depends on who you asked. What well, about the I guy mean, with the, the rum, rum glass. The real response <laughs> to that question would have been like, you mean like in 2023 or like when? 2027. We released these in we 2050. Made 20. We made like, 20 holy of these. shit. You fucking consumed the entire show. Right. You made this thing that everybody was excited everybody about. And then you turned around. John Olive was going to call me. And then you turned around <laughs> and you fucking didn't even release it. Right. What are you not? Were, were, they, were they housed in the fucking? They must have been housed in the fucking building that sat on oh, fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you call him? That's why I was in there. Can you call him and ask him about where these cigars are? <laughs> no, we can't put him on the spot. No, I won't Maybe do that. I like him too much. We'll never give one days again. Yeah. No, he's a good guy. So I wouldn't It'll do be that. Very yeah, I, was just, I was wondering about that, though, because I thought that was a cool you know, we, concept. We should announce a uh, collaboration with somebody for next year. Yeah, I, and like get, get everybody around, get everybody around, fucking drop some confetti, fit, right? And then just not release shit. We just need a bunch of those cannons. Yeah, and shoot them off in the corner. Oh, what got STG the CG ma- and what, Postania? What really got the major attention <laughs> was the Postania Padron was collaboration. The, yeah, that, that you know, but there's been minimal information about it. Uh, they showed them, they displayed them, and now we don't know what's going on with them. Oh, here's a company we should do with. Go ahead. Drunk Chicken Homicidal oh. Hand Returns to PCA 2020. The Postania Drunk Chicken Collaboration. Oh, my goodness. At the 2023 PCA <coughs> Convention at Trade Show next month, but Drunk Chicken uh, Boots, Cigars. Boots doesn't like the bands. The bands are too shiny. Oh, they're very nice people. I like them. He likes the people. We'll release <laughs> the newest incarnation of Homicidal Hen, the company's limited edition cigar that is released annually. Nice. Once again, Homicidal Hand will be in a five and a half by fifty Robusto Extra Vitola. The blend will also remain the same as the three previous releases. <laughs> Specifically, a Pennsylvania Broadleaf wrapper covering an Ecuadorian binder, Nicaraguan filler. So it's the same cigar we released the last three years. We just called it number three. Well, you know, hey, you I will say this. 
At least maybe they're keeping true to the fact that you can only buy it at the show. It could be. They only make you know, so many a year. Like, hey, we made this cigar. We still had some afterwards, so, you know, we'll release it again at PCA. Oh, in fact, it is. The uh, the production of 2023 uh, incarnation mirrors the production from the year before. Only 5,000 cigars will be released, packaged in 20 count boxes. So it's 250 boxes. Right. The Homicidal Hand debuted in 2020. Since then, the company has released the same cigar once a year. Okay. According to Desiree Silver, owner of Drunken Chicken, the MSRP of Homicidal Hand 2023 will be $14 per cigar. Mm-hmm. And okay. the cigars are scheduled to ship to retailers at the end of July. Starting to down with SPC prices almost. Uh, <coughs> ADP price. Yeah, ADP price. Mm-hmm. But it's it's a uh, Robusto, though. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, Ask, go ahead. Oh, Sorry. Uh, so they've, they've be, they're consistent, though. Right. Yeah. Every year, the same amount of cigars, and apparently the same cigar. I had never heard of them. Drunken Chicken? Yeah, until that one year. Oh, the one year? I've never smoked anything from them, but I, I see them on uh, Instagram all the time. Yeah. Cool. Sorry. Uh, that's where we got a lot of your original uh, cigar facts. Yeah. From they, Drunken Chicken? Yeah, they put one out every week. Oh, nice. Until they started getting really long. <laughs> we need like a 20-minute <laughs> segment for him to read the cigar facts. Oh, cigar sure. stories, not facts. Right, now. yeah, they become stories. <laughs> Oscar Valadares is adding Leaf by Oscar 10th anniversary Criojo in 2012 by Oscar, S- wait, and a 2012 Oscar Sumatra at the PCA 2023. Mm. I'll tell you the Sumatra I'm fucking excited about. What? The Volstead. Yeah, that's good. Oh, yeah, that was good. That was good. I was shocked that it's a Sumatra. I'm like, damn, man, this does really? not. Does yeah. it taste like one to you? It does not taste like, no, it does not taste like a Sumatra. Not even close. It was, what does it uh, taste like? It was kind of meaty tasting, like full yeah. flavored. Yeah. Yeah. But you could smoke more than one of them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, if I had another one, I could have went right to it. Yeah. Yeah. That's fantastic. Uh, Oscar's also debuting the Connecticut at the 2023. Oscar Valadari's signature, the Oscar line, is getting a new Connecticut version that will debut at next month's Premium Cigar Association Convention or Trade Show. It's the year of the Connecticut. Yeah, that's that's how I was saying. I'm gonna tell you right now. I love and respect every one of you guys that are making a Connecticut. My Connecticut's gonna fuck yours up. Not even close. You're we're not even in the same fucking realm. It's just this it, cigar it's, is it's different. This cigar is fucking amazing. That's right. Is it's true? going to eclipse the Habano and Broadleaf sales like by a fucking long shot. I've never made anything so fucking amazing and completely different. Oh, so the year of the war chicken. Yeah, well, but, you know, I have a lot of the Connecticut's. So I'm going to tell you right now. Yes. The fucking Connecticut is amazing. It, it is, is. It is good. It's I had your fucking new amazing. War Bear this morning. Did you? It was really strong for a, uh, for a Corona. It was a little powerhouse. It yeah. is. Yeah. It's very strong. It's a Corona or a Corona Gorda? Uh, it's, a, it's a box press. It's a Corona Gorda. Box press Corona box Gorda. Press Corona. Yeah. Five and a half by five. So I've six. noticed, like, your cigars, they change a lot. With that size. And they're good, though. That's the geek size, man. The Corona Gorda is the geek size. So any, if it, say, like, Drunken Chicken, if they were to make a Corona Gorda size, do you think it would make their cigar better because that size just packs the most punch? I, I think the answer to that question is it depends. Okay. The Justice is the Corona Gorda Connecticut, right? Correct. All right, I haven't had that one yet. Yeah. I'm going to tell you right now, in the Connecticut, yeah, the Toro is the fucking best. I like the Corona Gorda. The Toro is the fucking... I smoke the most Toro. Excuse me. It's fucking amazing. It is... I'm smoking it right now. I can smoke whatever the fuck I want, and I'm smoking that cigar. What size is the SBC? Five and a half by 46. What is that? Corona, Corona Gorda. Corona Gorda. Yes. There have always been Corona Gorda. Correct. Yeah. Um, never mind. Go I'll ahead. Go no, ahead. I'll, ask, I'll ask you later. The Villager well, Miami 2023 debut... Now. What? <laughs> well, I may I or may not answer. I don't have to answer. Just tell me. No, I don't want to because the, the asked a question might be information that, that you don't want. And I'll say that's information I'm not giving them. You well, yeah, but by asking the ask, question, ask, the information ask, maybe ask, 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 we'll edit it out. I, don't, I hate to edit Come on, ask, 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 I heard you didn't blend the 2023. I did not. I did not blend the That's why it was so different. That's why it's totally different. Right. When I found out who blended it, you could taste it. The guy. Yeah, the guy. Yeah, Uncle Skip. The one. So you you could taste. He said, "I want to blend it." I said, yeah. "All right, fuck it." 
You know what I mean? Like, what am I? I just found like, that out today. It's like Mario. Like, oh, well, that makes it's sense. Like Mario Andretti saying, "I want to drive your car." I'm like, no, right. no, 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 fuck that. No, 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 no. You know what I mean? Like, right. of course, of course, you could do. Yeah, it. but yeah. that's like, I uh, welcome. What's another? Uh, what's, what's another NASCAR guy? Uh, uh, Tony Stewart. It's like Tony Stewart asking to drive your car, though. Dylan. Right. I'd let him. Right. Fuck yeah. Right. Drive it. It's not like you know, some guy who never drove a car before asked to drive your car. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah, what if it was the like the car I mean, in last place that nobody knows? <laughs> Look, the guy has taken listen. The guy has taken what a if year, Robbie Doyle has to drive your car. It's taken like, no, over no, no. a year for the Quinn Paganero, whatever the fuck. Yeah, see, and, uh, you know. Why does he pick names nobody can say? You know, I like the, yeah, the Quiet Gun Jim. Yes. Yeah. The um So you know. Sorry. You fucking know <laughs> that there was thought into every step of the blend. Of course. Right. right. So if he says, "Hey, I want to make this. I want to do this one." First of all, it's called "Surrounded by Champions," right? Right. So it fits the whole right. scenario. Right. Another one of the champions. Like, it. Fuck yeah, man! You know what? Me and Phil would like to blend next year's. <gasps> no. No, 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 no. no. Uh, BDP and boots. BDP and boots. No. Phil will sit this one out. I would say that's probably not going to happen. I mean, let's be real. Well, if we go over there and do it with Uncle Skip. Mm. <laughs> Still no. Wow. Wow. Know where that's, that line is. That's the line, yeah. Oh, no concert and, and, and no cigar. Not a good week for me. Hey, I didn't say no cigars. I just said you're not going to blend an SBC. Well, right. Well, I already have a cigar. If you went into Nika Sueno and he said, okay, you know, we could do a fucking limited fucking postania, I'd be okay with that. We oh. could do that. Let's do it. It's not going to be that. We'll take it. First of all, you got to get Skip to agree to it, so good all luck right. with He's that. He's agreeing. Oh, he'll agree. He loves me. <laughs> he loves me, Uncle Skip. He's agreeing. <laughs> You better you better be be ready to set some time aside to do some San Juan del Sur swimming as well as uh, Esteli time. So you get them on the show too. Oh, agree. you give me? I'm not going to the house with the monkeys. Oh yeah, I'm going to the house with going, the monkeys. You're going to the monkeys. And we got to stay up all night till the monkeys wake up. Apparently, I saw that the other day. And to day. get to hang out with the dog. Yeah. Oh yeah, with Buster. A little Buster. Yeah, Buster. Yeah. He steals towels now. Buster gets to sleep. How come we don't get to sleep? <laughs> <laughs> you get to sleep. If you want to go to sleep. Yeah, you got to sleep in the daytime. You got to bring one of those masks. Well, no, there's two things that you have to do. Number one is you fall asleep when you guys are watching TV, right? You angle yourself so that you can nap and it looks like you're watching TV and you fall asleep. <laughs> well, that's easy. I could do that. Yeah. That's a, that's or you a, can't see your eyeballs. It's a great technique. Every once in a while you can pop in and chime, oh, my God. Well, we get one of those sleep. LED masks where it looks like we're still awake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then the other thing, the other thing that you need to do is when you're really fucking tired, you just got to look at them saying, listen, man. I'm fucking going to sleep. I'm going to sleep. I'm I've tired. Got that part. I've got that part down. I'm tired. I'm sorry. I'm a failure for a friend, <laughs> and I'm going to sleep. Now, if you could get mm. on his schedule, I can't say that last. It part. would be okay. You just got to fight that first day, and then you sleep till noon, and then you're okay once you get on his schedule. There's still other shit that you can do though. If you woke up at a regular time, all right, but he'll be sleeping. Yeah. So what? Factory's still there. Oh. Yeah, well, yeah, I can't get to the factory. From yeah, you know house, what? You myself. sleep, Skip. Me and not, Palmer not will go there. Sir. We'll direct everything. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody dancing while they're rolling cigars. Like a fucking Willy Wonka chocolate factory. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> Don't smoke that. <laughs> boots, is, boots is all inflated over these, on the side. These I'm guys drowning. are great. They have drowning in the tobacco cigars. river. Yeah, these guys are great. Oh, they fucking created twenty cigars today, Skip. <laughs> Look at all these. We're just making them like crazy. Hey, we're gonna have to call. Uh, we're gonna have to call Step on Cabbage Brothers. Let them know that there's <laughs> fucking two hundred thousand cigars coming. We need some more money. Master blenders. <laughs> just master blenders. Oh, we've experienced. All right, we got to keep moving. We got two more stories. All right. Oh, we have three more stories. Okay. Yeah, all right. Uh, well, we can skip the one. Chogui announces Heartbreaker Two distribution returns to Poshy. Yeah. We, we well, lived that last we week. We broke so. that release. So, it's as heard last week on the show. Who released that? What one? camera were you just on? I was on Palmer. Oh. Oh. Because he's reading the news. Oh, I'm reading okay. the news. I thought you were on you. It's almost like this yeah, is the you, first you time we've done this. Don't have your mask on. Yeah. So you know, yeah, we broke that news. And you know what? Charlie was very nice. He included Cigar House's podcast on the news with nice. the break. You know? Oh yeah, oh. yeah. That, well, that's where he pulled the story from. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. He did. Wow. Yeah. He just doesn't like to do Instagram handles. That's all. I've never done that. Like, In addition okay. to the new distribution deal on a recent episode of a Cigar Hustlers podcast, a show that ties to Poshik. Oh, it doesn't tie to Poshik. <laughs> it does tie to Poshik. Poshik ties to it. Mm. I Com- can assure two completely different coral. I can assure you that, it's a coral. that one of those companies yes. makes way more money than the other one. So well, which one's more popular the more people have heard of? 
I would say Poshik. <laughs> no. I don't know what we're talking yeah. about right now. Phil, spell Poshik. P O P. No, no, and can't. Phil, spell a Cigar Hustlers podcast. A C I Gar. There you go. Hustlers. See? <laughs> <laughs> Half Whale reviewed the Phosphoro Connecticut, Michael. I know. Oh, so you already looked at it? No, I talked to Jeff. Oh, Patrick did the review. You always yeah, like to know who did Patrick the review. Did the review. Yeah, right, the Phosphoro yeah, Connecticut yeah. seemingly has all the makings of a very good cigar. Yeah, yeah it came in a little Yet, aggressive. On at him. the same time, didn't seem to get everything in the right place in order to allow the cigar to reach its full potential. First half of the cigar is very enjoyable, whether it's a bit lighter, the peanut butter, or a bit heavier, richer with earth and coffee. The second half of the cigar finds itself marred with combustion issues. Yeah, Patrick's like they have I- a lot of combustion issues. Could that be user error? I'm thinking. Listen, it's very possible. I have a lot what of problems. What is a combustion it's, issue? It didn't you know, burn right for them. It, or it went out or it burned very, crooked. It's very possible. Yes. It is very possible. I don't think I've possible. ever had an issue. I never have either. I've never had an issue with the phosphoro. No. What, does he I leave mean, his cigars outside? I feel like it's the right to pass it through Half Wheel because I think that the first one that they ever reviewed was mine. The first, one of the post that said that they had, they burn, had burn issues. issues right. yeah, so I made sure it says I have burn issues. And you burned his, you lit and a cigar I, with yeah, his business yeah, card. Because I have burn issues. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, maybe that's like, a, it's like an Just initiation thing. thing. Yeah, yeah. It's like a paddle mm-hmm. swapping, you know, like, oh, like yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You got to be hazed into the. Oh, hazed into the yeah. cigar company, right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, so I talked to Jeff and said, hey, look, it doesn't matter. As long as they're talking about you, that's all, that's right. all that fucking matters. Right. That's, that's all that matters. You know? Remember, Jeff, you're the worst pirate I've ever heard of. So but you, you have, but you heard, have of heard of me. And I actually said that to him. Oh, and did you? Just, yeah. Yeah. You've got to be the worst pirate I've ever heard of. Well, who's the guy that so reviewed you have it? But you have heard of me. Have heard of me. Like Patrick. Of Patrick did. He's Patrick the, who? Which is Patrick at Half Wheel. I don't yeah. remember him. Which is the best? the bald guy. Which is funny because those are the that's the best chance you have of. Yeah, a, Patrick's uh, the the nicer of the yeah, two. Yeah, he's well, he's the uh, three Brooks. Oh, Brooks! I forgot about Brooks. Yeah, and then Brian kind of circulates in everyone. Right in a for while. the shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I like Brooks. How come he didn't review? Like, if Charlie gives you an eighty-eight, that's probably a perfect cigar. It's probably worth a hundred. You know what I mean? Like, that's gonna it's gonna be a ninety-seven or above. Like, so, if yeah, you they, get an eighty-eight, they gave it an, they gave it an eighty-four. Yeah. The phosphorus. But that's not a Charlie eighty-four. That's a Patrick eighty-four. And it right. was, you know, I, I don't think that they, you know, that's not a qualifying number. Well, again, it's, it's not. It's, it's a good cigar. Like the, it's a, it is a good cigar. Just like the cigars and cigarettes. You know, there's a lot of factors that go into this. You know, where were you smoking at? Yeah. yeah. What kind of lighter were you Were using? you fighting with your wife? Yes. Yeah. How many times did you breathe in between puffs? How, mu- how many breaths? Yeah. We want to know. <laughs> All right, in a Florida story. So we have yes. alligator sharks and pythons at yeah. the beach, Michael. Yeah. Now yeah. in yeah. Destin, Florida. That. A bear. The bear swimming. Three words a crowd of Florida beachgoers didn't expect to hear during their Sunday in the sun. It's a bear. Caught on camera, a bear was spotted splashing through the Gulf of Mexico before running up. Great time. The dest- he did. He was swimming around. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're running up the Destin shore just before noon, according to CNN news sources. Swimmers and beachgoers in the in and near the water at the city of the Florida's Panhandle can be seen near the bear. Yeah, they were very close to the bear. The yeah. Was. Hmm. frolicking in the water before running off into a nearby sand dune, according to the person who captured the video, Animals on Video. Look, man. So come on down here. Everything's trying to kill you. Look, black bears, they want nothing to do with you. No. If you shouted at that bear, he'd be like, fuck, and he'd probably just run away. Well, the people were very close. That's probably why he scurried off. Yeah, he's like, he's oh, like, oh, fuck, there's people. Like, I just wanted to I swim. swim oh, this was a real bear. Oh, yeah, real uh, black yeah, bear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I thought it was a joke. It's not bear. huge. About the size of my biggest dog. Oh. You Not a so? huge black bear. It it's looked probably, like it. It's probably a little bigger than that. Well, fatter probably, but I meant size-wise, height and length and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, bears that guy saw a body bigger. of water and possible meat. Well, now's the no, now's the season where they all kind of come out. Yeah, he was hot. He took a little swim yeah, and then he, was, he ran back into the beach. He ran you back know up what you are seeing a lot more of though, is you're seeing a lot more bears in their society. It's because we're encroaching on the habitat. They're running out of places to go. That's been going on forever. Right, but the longer yeah, but, it goes, the less. Yeah, you know, but maybe you heard like, okay, in a heavily wooded neighborhood, there was a bear that came to the garbage can. Dude, right? I've seen bears in my neighborhood since I moved in. I don't know how that's possible. Cause... Yeah, for years, where are they hiding? Yeah, I don't. Will know. they all sleep under one tent? I don't know. <laughs> and we have a bear in my neighborhood, but there's a big wooded area over in the corner. Uh, you just gotta wrestle them. You gotta I'd wrestle bear. 
You know, it's going to uh, take we, them We on. have bears, coyotes, bobcats, and alligators in my neighborhood. There you go. Mm. Andrew's always, oh, they're going to get the dogs. Like, no, they're not getting the dogs. They don't come to where the dogs are. You're mm. fenced in. Right. Yeah. You know, somebody's going to break in the back door. Going to lock it. I go. Okay. First, we have dogs. We have three massive dogs. We have three dogs. Well, yeah. two massive, one little one. But we have dogs. And, oh, that's right. And you, there's you, a you there's gave only, the other one back. Yeah, there's only one gate on the fence. They don't like one way out, one way in, one way out. Thing. Bad right. guys. Meth heads. Yeah, because he escapes them. And they they always case houses first. And I'm going to go. Let's pick the house with the dogs. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And the back door. Right. Yeah. Yeah. They're coming through the front door. It's like, right. It's like bubbles. <laughs> I mean, you see bubbles at the front door. You're like, fuck that. I'm, right, exactly. I am not, or even I'm not though, even taking even, chances. Even Butt Sniffer, they don't want to mess with him either. Hey, hey Tom, does El, that one have a El dog Chapo. over there? El Chapo. Does that one have a dog? <laughs> that one got a house. I hear no barking. You know we'll what? The there. house next door looks nicer, and they don't have animals. Let's go there. <laughs> well, you walk by the house, and Bubbles wants to eat you. You're like, dog. Yeah, my dogs are in the window. Right. It's like, nah. No, I'll skip that one. Yeah. Yeah, right. well, let's go to Kenny's house. You don't know. Ken, yeah, 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 let's go to Kenny. He doesn't have a dog. A nice pool. Right, he's gonna have some bubble ground pool. Yeah, yeah, he's got he's living it up. Right. He's gotta be cash in that house. Right. <laughs> so right, that's all I got. That's it? all you got? That's all I got. Okay. You got a listener of the week? <gasps> no, not this week. Uh, I have a listener of the week. Who's listener of the week, Michael? Miguel Rocha. Miguel Rocha, yeah. listener of the week. Yes. Shop yes. of the week? Do I have a shop of the week? Oh, come on. You want to shop? Oh. No, come on. Where are we going? This, you ain't got a shop of the week? What about the one in Sarasota? Which one's in Sarasota? Oh. We haven't been there yet, have we? Did you go to shop? Did you go to Heritage? Sarasota? Yeah, Heritage. I thought we mentioned them recently. I think we have. Oh. What about Jimmy's? No, we don't know. Jimmy's got some sneaky stuff going on. We're not He's sure. got the celery city cigar. He's got his own cigar now. What? Came out yesterday. Yeah. It's called the Jimmy? It's called the Celery City Cigar. There's three blends. Oh, their house cigars. He hasn't said a word. Uh oh. Yeah. No. We f- we fucking go there. We bust in and we say, "What the fuck's I'm going not on?" Touching that cigar. I want to try it. Do you? Yeah. Let's try it. I'm just curious. You think it's gonna have combustion issues? Probably. They all do. Probably. Obviously. <laughs> they all have combustion. All have combustion issues. <laughs> no. I'll be Patrick. He be he's brutes, and you can be the Asian girl. I'm gonna skip the shop of the week. <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> he hasn't been listening lately. What? What? Yeah. Call him right now. All right. All right. Shop of the week's tobaccoology. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, he said he's been busy. <laughs> oh, he's been busy. Yeah. Wow. How about that? Yeah. You want me to call him? Yeah, call him. I'll call him right. Yeah, we need him. to know something. Are you supplying the three cigars of Jimmy? <laughs> <laughs> He's not gonna answer. He's gonna think I'm gonna want money or something. So. <laughs> I've been a meeting. I'll call you right back. Yeah, I got a customer. I'll be. I'll be back in a minute. Click. Uh oh. How the hell are you? You're on the podcast. Hello. 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 Answer with each shit. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> we we noticed that you haven't been listening lately. And we're not, we're not happy about it. We heard that you were behind. We heard you have not been listening. No, I haven't been listening to the Patreon. I've been listening to the podcast. Oh. Why not the Patreon? Well, then that's well, perfect. That's fine. Just then keep we'll, sending the money. That's acceptable. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, just don't, don't cancel. <laughs> just don't cancel. Uh, what's up, boy? What's up? There's your boy. Your boy Industries here. Oh, no, that's Phil. That's Phil. Oh, Phil. Sorry. Oh, Phil's, here. Boy. Phil's here. Yeah, I don't know. You yeah, go, Are you going know. to the show? Yeah, I'm going to yeah. the show. Of course I'm going to the show. Okay. He's got to save that old man yeah. in case he passes out again. Yeah, the guy goes down again. The guy that goes oh, down. that's right. We saw that. Oh. I don't know. Can we, can we talk about that? Because we didn't do anything. We just kind of watched him die. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I, I like that on here. We were not present <laughs> at this place. At I, this like, I like that you stepped I'll in. Watch. You were ready to go. You're like, oh, yeah, all right. You were popping a breath, man. Getting ready to walk over no. there. Turn them around. Turn them around. Listen, any chance I get to kiss me, I mean, wait. Um, <laughs> I mean, any. Ah, got me. Anyway. Any chance What's going to on, go with a half dead old man? What's going on? When's yeah. the, when's the uh, Virginia thing? I don't know. When's the Virginia thing? For what? <laughs> the Connecticut that's never going to. He's never going to make the Connecticut. You know that. 
It's just uh, he just says it's going to, and then he will just wait a year and a half. It's a unicorn. Like Pizza well, horny. No, no, the Connecticut yeah. the Connecticut's coming out. It's not going to be like the Padron Fuente thing. It's going to be like the Connecticut thing. <laughs> yeah, <it's happening. laughs> you said Padron Fuente. No comment. <laughs> you're, such, you're such a pussy. You're the number one cigar podcast. I can't talk about don't, things like that. Don't. <laughs> he's still hoping he's going to get some. To don't be well, such I a pussy. I got to keep going here, guys. Don't Come be on. such I'm more, a pussy. I'm, I'm more a Patreon caller, you know. That. Anyway. <laughs> if you're like to hang up and call me back in a few minutes. I have it swore. I feel like I got to give you something to beep out. So fuck, fuck, fuck. Yeah, we don't beep out, fuck. Oh, sorry. No, we no booping. <laughs> anyway, so what are we talking about? No, no, I just, we were just checking we're in. Just checking in with you. We haven't we heard were, from you. Yeah, we had a. We, I figured I had a fifty-fifty shot of you answering, so you answered and you came through, and I appreciate. Shop of the week. Yeah. You're the shop of the hey, week. Tales never fails. Tales never fails. Oh, shop of the week. Yep. Nice. Yeah. I feel special. All and five you know locations. Hey, listen. Have you had the Volstead yet? What do you think? I think it's fantastic. It's very good. What do you think? Listen. Well, here's what I think. Let me tell you something. All right. I smoke it, and it feels like if you've ever sat with Skip Martin on his back porch in Nicaragua, it, it, it feels like you the smoke is going to weight you down into a chair, right? But the, uh, the cigar is not actually that heavy, right? It's, I, I would classify it as a medium, maybe a medium full, but goddamn, the smoke feels like you're smoking a Neanderthal. Um, I would agree. The first one, I wasn't sure. The second one, I really, really began to enjoy it. But what I would say is, if you've only smoked one, shame on you. Uh, get some real friends who, who who have them already and smoke more than one because I, I really, really, really enjoyed it. You know what? I think we need to do it on the Patreon today. Okay. Okay. Oh, nice. We're, we're going to do it on the Patreon. Oh, we have a good friend. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Nice. You fucking do have a good friend. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, it's really good. So I, if, I, I really enjoy it. I'm excited for different sizes. So, so Brad, now, if, you, the, if you can mail deal, us some. Mike? You, <laughs> you, you can have mail the inside. <laughs> yeah, don't start with me. You have the inside track. What is the deal with the wrapper? Is the wrapper going to be a different wrapper on it? What's the thought process behind I all that? I don't think so, buddy. I don't okay. Care. I don't. I don't, I honestly have no idea. Okay. All right. I have no well, fucking idea. Me. Here's all you right. know, like here's what I do. I'm a fucking killer. So the the reality is that you put it in front of me, and it's it's going to be put in the right hands, and that's all I give a shit about. I know that they're going to deliver. It's going to be an amazing cigar, and uh, they have my support, right? So in in our world, you're not a killer; you're a dealer, right? So you got you kind of stop using the word killer when you mean to use dealer, right? Because what you described is exactly what dealer is, right? <laughs> we deal. We deal. Right? But I feel First like there's free. levels of and dealers. And after that, you got to pay money. There's levels of dealers, right? You have your quintessential corner corner kid, you know what I mean, who's kind of scouting in fear of – I'm not saying names. You know I'm what I mean? I'm not saying names. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then you have, like, you know, your kind of mid-level dude, and he's probably, like, a cooler. You know what I mean? He's He, he does all right. He, you know, he moves some product, but it's, you know, it's not impressive. And then, and then the top <laughs> tier is your straight fucking killers. The guys where we're, we're taking no fucking prisoners. You know what I mean? And that's where I fall. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Well, I'm just a regular dealer. You're just standard? You're a corner guy? Yeah. I'm just, uh, I'm just well, no. not really corner. No, man. I can't do the corner anymore. That's where I started. I'm not the corner guy anymore. I don't know. You're pretty high I guess up I'm there. mid-level. In the middle <laughs> I feel like you're Appreciate higher than that. you're higher than mid. Don't don't you sell yourself short. Okay. Don't you sell. Well, did you schedule dinner? Read yet? the read the read the back of the cover, Phil. Humility's where it's at, right? <laughs> Humility's where it's at. Yeah. <laughs> I don't did you know. Schedule dinner yet? I don't know. I like having the swag. If I'm him, motherfucker, come come find out. Listen, Phil, I'm trying to do a real dinner here with with Knight. He wants All to right? do a Renaissance Stay dinner time. at oh. PCA. Where we go? Where we, we go? Get toxins. We go to a costume store and we get real costumes and <laughs> yeah. we go represent and get shitty, shitty drunk. Maybe we can get this killer to do some drinking. That's probably not going to happen. Yeah, I, I've yet to see that really come out. Because he's a killer. That's my point. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to miss the show. We're in prison. Or jail. Sorry. 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 <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to let you go. Thank you so much for answering. Yes. And congratulations yeah, on being fun. the shop of the week. And congratulations, congratulations on being the shop of the week. Thank we, you, boys. We appreciate, so we appreciate your um, insight. I feel, I feel like my acceptance speech is being cut off here, but okay. Did you get your AC um, fixed? Yeah, I got the AC fixed, man. Absolutely. I have Excellent. to. It's like Excellent. 91 here. 
Oh, I feel like I'm in Florida. Jesus Christ. I know. I Min- know. Minus the meth and the alligators? And the bears, no. And, and the, the bears. Bears. Yeah. bears at the beach. I know. I know. I know. But there are druggies if you look in the right place. <laughs> Just got to look around. I mean, we were at, uh, we, where we go? Denny's? There's definitely drug use at Denny's. Yeah, there's definitely there. There's oh, in oh, in that bird? Yeah, but I can't wait to you to come up here. Okay. <laughs> 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 we're going to have some fun. All right, get back to you, so. Me and Palmer, we'll, we'll be looking for your box. All right, brother. <laughs> Cigars are coming. But I, I got a special box for you. Oh, oh my wow. God. Yeah, yeah. All right, boys, I love you. I love you, All right, buddy. see you later, buddy. All right. All right. All right. I like sliding in a call, Dan. You heard it right here. We have a box coming. It's official. (laughs) The important thing is, though, we have a box coming. That's it. All right, guys. We got to go. It's been episode 285. Don't forget to join the Patreon. We'll go get some Volsteads. All right. Bye. A Cigar Hustlers podcast, its owners and its sponsors take no responsibility for the opinions or statements made by the talk show host or their guests. Statements or show topics are not necessarily the beliefs of Mike and Mike Productions or the podcast providers, and opinions between talk show hosts may differ. It is not our intention to libel, incite, or hurt anyone's feelings. We invite you to write the show's host, Mike Stepankevich, with any feedback or suggestions that you have for their shows. These broadcasts are presented and made public as entertainment in the hope that they will be entertaining to the audience.